Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hi. We have a packed house tonight that's always lovely. Welcome to the National Museum of Women in the Arts, the only museum in the world dedicated to women artists. I am Ilani Douglas. I am the Director of Public Programs here, and thank you for joining us as we enter our fifth season of Women, Arts, and Social Change. So yes, five seasons. The Women, Art, and Social Change initiative started in 2015 as a platform for women and champions of women to advance creative ideas and solutions to some of our most pressing issues. Over 60 outstanding presenters, 30 partnering organizations, and 7,500 attendees later. That's amazing. Today we welcome you, another 206 guests, <laughs> as we gather to hear from iconic feminine artist Judy Chicago and distinguished philosopher and professor Martha Nuspa. Thank you. What a great way to start the season. How many people have been here for How many people have been here for Fresh Talk before? Wow, that's awesome. Okay. How many people is this your very first time? It's almost even. Okay. Great. Um, now here's my favorite question. How many people here are members to the museum? Oh, that, yes, thank you. See all of that support. Membership has benefits. Thank you for supporting us. Um, and thank you to all of our members who are watching online. We do have a live feed. We hope that we can welcome new members. Your support is invaluable. In addition, I want to thank our generous sponsors and visionary donors whose leadership gifts have launched and continue to sustain this initiative. Denise Littleful Sobel, the Dory Davis Family Fund, the Susan and Jim Schwartz Public Program Programs Fund with additional funding by the Rivetta Foundation, the Bernstein Family Foundation, and Stephanie Sale. We have a fabulous team that has put together a wonderful evening for you to enjoy. Even though I stand here by myself, I am not alone. Thank you to my wonderful public programs manager, Amanda Vercruz, our stage manager, Beth Ferraro, and our interns, Grace and Gwen Grishana. And thank you for being a top-notch team. Um, it's a great time to be on a winning team, don't you think so? And I think we're in the right room with the winning team, so yes. <laughs> a few housekeeping notes. Um, if you could take out your cell phones, so we have some things for you to do with them. Um, first thing to do is to just make sure that all of your notifications are off. Um, make sure your ringers are off. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable with any of that, just turn the whole phone off. It's OK. <laughs> but if you are a social media buff, um, we want you to be able to find your post online. Make sure you tag Fresh Talk for Change. We love to read and share your post on our social media accounts. And also, if you uh, grabbed a card and a golf pencil at the front door, we are looking forward to your questions. Please use your question cards to write down, and our volunteers will conduct them towards the end. Um, after the conversation, We'll have a lovely cocktail hour, and the book signing will be on the second floor. So as soon as you get downstairs um, after the show, then we can um, have Judy down there to meet you. Now allow me to introduce the woman who steers our ship, our museum director, Susan Fisher Sterling. Good afternoon. Thank you again uh, for coming this evening. Uh, and I want to extend my warmest welcome to you on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the National Museum of Women in the Arts, as well as the staff. Uh, and I also want to uh, introduce Ginny Trainer. Ginny, can you stand up, please? Uh, Ginny is uh, the curator who helped work with Judy and Donald on the exhibition, The End, and I just want to make sure you all notice Ginny will also be our questioner today. Thank you. So today is the official launch of Judy Chicago, New Views, the first major monograph of, on this iconic artist uh, in nearly two decades. Uh, the National Museum of Women in the Arts is honored to be the co-publisher of this important volume of nine essays, uh, including the profound take on the series, The End, A Meditation on Death and Extinction, by world-renowned philosopher Martha Nussbaum. Uh, and obviously, Martha will be joining Judy in conversation in a moment. This book would not have been possible without the efforts of uh, NIMWA editor Elizabeth Lynch. Thank you. 
When Judy brought the idea of a monograph to us, uh, Elizabeth was truly uh, honored uh, by the prospect of working on this book. And she worked on it tirelessly with Megan Schultz, uh, Judy's studio manager extraordinaire. Megan. Uh, also, Judy put a tremendous amount of time in it into it, but I want to single out Donald Woodman, whose photography was essential to making sure that this book happened. So as many of you know, because you've bought the book, thank you so much, and we'll be having it hopefully signed by Judy tonight, uh, this book is really uh, the most beautifully illustrated volume on Judy's work. It traces key bodies of work by her that were since the time that she was creating in Los Angeles in the 60s and 70s, uh, when she created the feminist art movement uh, there. Also, it has her experimental works in pyrotechnics, dry ice, other ephemeral, large-scale or room-type sculptures, and erotica, of course, for those of you who are quite interested in that, as well as major series including The Dinner Party, Birth Project, Holocaust Project, Power Play, and The End. In addition to the publication of the monograph, uh, our Betty Boy Dietrich Library and Research Center is proud to be the repository for Judy Chicago's visual archive. That is something that happened in 2017. Uh, we started the arrangements with Judy to bring her archive here. It is her, the definitive visual record of the artist and documents her career through photographs, slides, negatives, and printed ephemera from the 1960s to the present. It is, and is becoming even more so, an essential resource for scholars. But there's more. I am pleased to announce that on October 17th, we will officially launch the Judy Chicago Portal a collaborative website that one day will provide total online access to Judy's papers at the Schlesinger Library at Harvard, her art education collection at Pennsylvania State University, and her visual archive here at NIMWA. One more giant leap forward in securing Chicago's legacy for posterity. So I want to... I also would like to take a moment to recognize and express Judy's and my deepest appreciation to Mary Ross Taylor, who has been an essential part of Judy's life and career for many years. Together, we thank her for her inspirational support of NIMWA's exhibition of the end, and also for her help with Judy Chicago, New Views, the monograph. In terms of friendships, I'm also happy to have with us here today Constance Gee, Valentine Blondel of Paratin Gallery, and Alison Raddock of Salon 94. Judy will have, be having exhibitions at both of these galleries over the next uh, year plus. When it comes to Judy Chicago, she needs uh, no introduction, except for us to say how pleased and proud we are to have the privilege of debuting her newest series, The End at NIMWA. As the Washington Post said this weekend, it is right in line with Chicago's accomplished body of work, which grapples with creation, life, and identity, and her current focus on the meaning of death, as well as the artist's own mortality. It is this body of work that she and our second guest, Martha C. Nussbaum, will be discussing today. Nussbaum is the Ernst Freund Distinguished Service Professor of Law and Ethics at the University of Chicago, and was, is appointed also in the law school and the philosophy department. The author of numerous books and articles, which is what we always say, uh, Nussbaum is really internationally celebrated, and we're so pleased to have her here with us. Uh, especially when it comes to her work in ancient Greek and Roman philosophy, especially Stoicism, 
feminist philosophy, where she sometimes disagreed with the way some feminists were looking at it at the time, political philosophy, and then philosophy and the arts. She has written extensively on death and dying. Her book, Frontiers of Justice, Disability, Nationality, Species Membership in particular, discusses our obligations to other animals. This, among other projects, uh, including the two women, this among other things, including the two women's appreciation of one another's work and the joy they seem to have in one another's company, made Martha Nussbaum the obvious choice not only to write about the end in Judy's monograph, but also to engage in this dialogue today with Judy at her book launch and Fresh Talk event. Please join me in welcoming Judy Chicago and Martha Nussbaum to the stage. <laughs> 